How many subjects we have here? Two. Which one? The pitch and I. Okay. And remember, if the graded pronoun start the following by subject, so the subject in the from in the beginning must be located as an object in the real sentence. So, if you separate the common two sentences. Because this is things, right? You cannot do action. Hanya bisa dikenai. Ya, dilakukan oleh seorang. So, uh, uh, your friend can help you. Can you help me to spread the sentence? Which the independence quotes and the independent independence. I think that. It's not. I think this is not independent. This is not independent. I think this is just independent clause. The pitch was green. No, no. The whole part. The whole sentence was. I think was green is a. Ini contoh dari independen atau dependen sih mbak? Independen. Dua-duanya. 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 So ini sih apa yang saya? Tapi ada anak kalimat, ada ibu kalimat. Tapi ada objeknya, ada. Jadi ini kalau kita splash, can you? Uh, recognize which one, which sentence belong to this sentence. For example, like I uh, that the pitch. Sebenarnya, I kalau kita pisah ini sebenarnya ini anak kalimat. Iya. Iya. Jadi the pitch was green. Induk kalimatnya the pitch was green. So if we separate to belong. To become, uh, to be two sentences. Two sentences. Which one? The first sentence. The main clause. No. The the main clause. Main clause. So we forget the creative for now. The pitch was green. Yes. The pitch was green. The pitch was was green. And the second sentence? I add the pitch. Yes, I add, I add correct. I add the pitch. So this is how to uh, find the main clause in a sentence. We forget, we separate the relative pronoun, uh, the closer in relative pronoun. So we should separate first to understand yeah to find the main clause okay it's very complicated <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's easy actually if we already cut 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 uh, the rest of the yes so it's easy to find the main clause in a sentence okay Okay, so just simply remember that a sentence must have subject, verb, object, or complement. Okay. Okay, continue. Group four. Thank you. Hahaha. 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 Haha
Ini mas. Unit Alfi. Oke, okay, for the fourth, the step four, uh, we should decide the subject, object, entire object, and other things of the finite verb in the independent or main clause. Example, uh, just this example, to the same example, the pitch that I add was green. The pitch is the subject of the finite verb was. Green is a complement. And next, decide the subject, object, indirect object, and other thing of the finite verb in verb independent clause or subordinate clause. Example, the piece that I add was green. I is the subject of the finite verb A. That is the object of A. That is the object of A. A. The object. As object. Sorry, it's the next word. It's the right pronoun. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> something, something wrong. Okay, so maybe you can. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I clarify. Clarify. I should. I should. Uh, I is the subject of the verb A. That, that is a relative pronoun of the sentence. What is the piece? Uh, the object is piece. Yeah, the object is the, the pitch. pitch. The pitch. The pitch. Okay. I is the subject. And that? That is a relative pronoun of uh, the pitch. Relative pronoun? Yeah. To explain to, to explain, explain, explain the pitch. Yeah, the pitch. In this in this a sentence. Yeah. Um, and the direct object for this direct object is uh the other object and the other object for this direct object for this direct object and the direct object is uh yes <laughs> indirect object is uh, object yang dikenakan tapi secara tidak langsung indirect like uh, I give you an example uh -huh. uh, like ditulis mbak uh, tulis ya mungkin biar bisa lebih biar untuk nulis sorry mbak soalnya mbak matinya kan nulis jadi start jadi kentani kopi ini itu bisa bagus itu bisa dibaca oleh semua orang. Penting baik dan benar. Sekarang ya guys. I will give her my book. I is a subject here. I mean, <laughs> 
and give is a verb here. Her is indirect object, and my book is direct object. Got it? As a uh, indirect object, maksudnya yang tidak langsung dikenakan. Uh, mana ya? To explain this. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Got it. I get it. Thank you. So actually, this sentence means I will give her my book. Means uh, actually, I will give my book to her. So it's function as a net for her. Object is direct. Direct object in this sentence, but we can modify it from like this. Okay. Got it, baby. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Mas, Mas Ahmad. Cheers. Cheers. Let me just explain. Berkali-kali kita nggak mau. Okay, we. I just uh, give you one exercise of our book. It uh, exercise nine in our module book. One page. Uh, one page. Any page? Oh.